now on Extra, celebrating the life of the Queen of Soul. What a voice. Janet Jackson, Alicia Keys, Ariana Grande. The incredible Aretha tributes pouring in today. Lifelong friend Smokey Robinson, Stevie Wonder in tears. Plus, breaking details on the memorial plans. And will there be an Aretha tribute on Monday's VMA? Bethany's boyfriend's final words to EMTs, revealing what he took that ultimately caused his death. Kim Carter. We must I'll work for, for it. <laughs> They're at home resting at the moment. Now on Extra from Universal Studios Hollywood, the entertainment capital of L.A. Hey everyone, welcome to Extra. And we're going to start today with an outpouring of celebrity tributes to Aretha Franklin. Jerry has the music, the memories, and the memorial plans underway today. The front page tributes from New York to the legendary singer's hometown. Her music will live on. And from the A-list all over social media and the airwaves. Like Pop star Ariana Grande delivering her soulful rendition of Aretha's 1968 mega hit. <laughs> reportedly breaking down backstage, then laughing with Fallon, remembering the time the 18-time Grammy winner gave her a call. She goes, hi, um, it's Aretha. And I was like, Franklin? <laughs> Ariana not alone covering Aretha's anthem. Alicia Keys on Beats One Radio, remembering Franklin as unforgettable, powerful, and one of her greatest inspirations. What a voice. What a great body of work. An emotional Janet Jackson sharing her memories on iHeartRadio. Growing up, she lived down the street from, from my family, and her kids used to come over to our house and play, and we'd go over to hers. Stevie Wonder breaking down. I thought I cried my last tear. One of the last to visit Aretha before her passing, he broke this news on CBS This Morning. We talked about uh, doing some music as recent as maybe two months ago. With 20 number one R&B hits, she demanded and earned <laughs> 75 million records sold, a single everlasting title. The Queen of Soul. Hey, hey, hey. Opening up with Tanika in this 2008 interview. What was your dream as a little girl? I had a lot of dreams, a lot of dreams, yeah. I guess most importantly, I wanted to sing. This Aretha's final performance, I Say a Little Prayer at the Elton John AIDS Foundation event last November. Today, a heartbroken Detroit making plans for a memorial concert. A star-studded tribute reportedly also in the works at Madison Square Garden in November. Now, Extra uncovering this lost duet with Aretha and Smokey Robinson on Soul Train. Smokey remembering their collaborations on CBS This Morning. It was always wonderful to do anything with Aretha. Aretha was, like I said, my ace. You know, she was, she was yeah. my baby. And now she's a voice for the ages. All right, now to the other stories trending today, starting with...